Hey, what's going on riders? Uh, it's another week, another ride home review. This week I'm going to be talking about Crazy Rich Asians. Wasn't what I expected to go see tonight, but um, my sister wanted to go see a movie and she really didn't want to watch us shoot them up, so we went to see this. So anyway, um, Crazy uh, Rich Asians stars Constance Wu, Henry Golding, uh, Michelle Yeoh, and Aquafina and is directed by John Chu. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Instagram, like on Facebook. Um, Ride Home Reviews, look for Ride Home Reviews on there. And then also the Anchor Channel, um, Ride Home Reviews is also going into podcast mode. So it'll be, you'll be able to download that as a podcast. I'm gonna get start um, putting more content out there. Anyway, uh, what the movie is about? Well, it's about um, uh, Rachel Chu and her and her uh, boyfriend Nick Young um, are going to a wedding in Singapore. She has not met his family yet and really doesn't know how well off they are, and, uh, and she does not come from money, and so therefore there's a lot of conflict uh, that ensues. Um, and uh, there you have it. That's pretty much the synopsis for that, to set it all up. Um, what I liked about the film was, I really liked the fact that you were immersed in a culture you, that somebody like me would never see. Um, not only that, but immersed in a very uh, affluent culture in a different part of the world. And it was just amazing to see um, how they set it all up, uh, you know, and just, just the ostentatiousness of, of everything and just, um, but, uh, the area of Singapore really food is a central part and, uh, how they, I mean, it really, the, the movie does make you hungry. It does make you hungry. I really enjoyed that part of it. And the story, um, well, the pacing of the film is really good for the first three quarters. I think of the, of the movie, it really goes boom 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 and really really has you uh, um, going back and forth and uh, and, and the characters uh, of course there's so many you know as colorful as the scenery is the characters are just as colorful um, the supporting cast and and what <laughs> what is brought forth and that some pe some people's families just are crazy um, and so so it's just really cool to see all of that and and to see how American Rachel is in the midst of all of this and just just that just that feel of wow I guess she really doesn't fit into all of this but I think it's more less about the culture uh, more on the uh, uh, you know maybe the affluent side all of that mixed in um, uh, with that what I didn't care about the movie of course, you know, this is gonna be a predictable story You know, what's gonna happen? Um, uh, for in, in generality, but like I said uh, kind of slowed down after uh, a bit in the third act um, and I didn't really understand the, the intertwining of, of uh, One of the characters who played uh, I can't remember the character's name offhand, but yeah, I just didn't really understand their role, that story arc, and why that was necessary as part of the film um, with their marriage. Uh, and so, so yeah, it's pretty much basically not about hiding yourself, but being yourself. Um, and that was really what was apparent in that. What to watch for? Uh, just the scenery of Singapore, first and foremost, but secondly, the wedding unbelievable set design and lighting and just incredible an incredible show uh, that is something to watch for in this film um, all in all it was okay movie um, there's a lot of funny parts Aquafina is great um, Kim Jong of course Ken Jong excuse me um, is really good but anyway uh, crazy rich Asians eh, it was okay um, so there you have it that's the review for this week Subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. See you next week.